Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you all for being here. Uh, the, the friendship deal with Siren Sister uh, goes back to about in the 1980s when the 8th Earl of Bathurst visited Bathurst. How did we come to be called Bathurst? The 3rd Earl of Bathurst was a good buddy of Lachlan Macquarie. That's how it was. Macquarie said, well, I've got to name a few towns. I'll name this one Bathurst after me mate back in England. He was the Home Secretary and he was something else as well, something to do with ports and whatever. But he was the, the one after whom our town was named. The 3rd Earl Bathurst, 1815. The 8th Earl Bathurst visited in the 1980s. And the 9th Earl Bathurst, who is still with us and has been visited by many people here, and Simon will talk about him in just a moment. 9th Earl Bathurst has visited Bathurst. He was here for our bicentenary. And it's a natural fit for both our town or our rural city and the uh, town of Sirencester. <coughs> Sirens, uh, others have been to Sirencester, not I, but I welcome the people in Bathurst who have been there and uh, Dave Parsons and there's probably others who've been there as well and I'll probably forget somebody, Jennifer and Stephen have been there, um, others as well. But that's what this friendship agreement is about. Uh, we have a direct link with them. Uh, the, because Siren Sisters in the Cotswolds, a beautiful part of England, part of Gloucestershire, and those of you who know anything about your cricket, of course, will know that Gloucestershire is the home of who, Mr Wood? No. W.G. Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. he, he could play a bit. Um, and, of course, he's famous for uh, saying to an umpire, um, no, I wasn't out, they came to see me not the, uh, the other people bowling, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Siren Sister, we're looking forward to a, a continuing friendship. Many people from Bathurst have been and visited Siren Sister, and that's great, and absorbed what's there. And we hope it comes the other way, that people from Siren Sister will come out here so that we have an interaction. There are similarities and there are ma major differences. Their history goes back 2,000 years more and more. Quite close to Bath, of course, you all know the city of Bath, which is absolutely magnificent, a Roman town, and Siren Sister has Roman links as well. Far be it from me to say, Simon King is the expert because he lives in Siren Sister. <laughs> Simon's been here uh, twice. He was here from February to April last year, rode in the B2B, borrowed Andy Van's bike because they're just about the same. They didn't have to adjust any pedals. It was all perfect and he rode in the B2B and uh, is back here this time to see the car races. Decided he didn't want to see the car races, instead got influenza A and tested out our hospital system for three nights. But he's nearly better. He's not contagious either, by the way. No, no. No longer, no longer contagious. Uh, but Simon is here and also uh, to uh, maybe look at doing the Panorama Punish on Sunday, slowly. maybe, slowly. <laughs> but Simon, can I just pass over to come you on, to sort on, of yes. tell us what's happening? So I've got a few uh, things to say if that's okay, just to sort of bring, bring you up to speed really with our journey. And uh, yeah, there's been a lot going on and uh, I think to start off with I must thank the council for all their help. I spent 10 weeks here, enjoying myself, a bit of a holiday, career break and uh, really much very, fell in love with Bathurst as a place and uh, I've got a lot of friends here. But actually to take things forward, to make something real, to create a project, I've worked closely with Dan, Alan and all, all the council and very much appreciate the support of the councillors in taking our, our friendship forward. So we've got a formal arrangement now, signed both ends, which is great and uh, I'm here very much with a bit of a business head uh, representing my current university, which is a place called Hartbring near Gloucester. Uh, in Gloucestershire and uh, really keen to sort of develop other connections and one of those is with Charles Stuart University, student exchanges but also with the Chamber in, in Angus here and he'll talk a little bit more about what we plan to do next. We've had 20 people from uh, Bathurst and South over the last year so we get quite busy or oh, more people from Australia but you know it's great you know in, and I bring up Lord B and say now Alan um, I have a few more people here from Australia um, are you busy? Oh, yeah, I'm a bit. Right. Uh, yeah, but they're from Bathurst. Right, okay, 12 o'clock outside the mansion, I'll take you around. 
and, and you'll get to go around the match. We never get invited, but you guys do. Don't ask me. But he's so enthusiastic about the friendship, and, it, and it's great. You can go there and have a look at his leather wallpaper and all the other, you know, pictures of Duke of Wellington, or portraits, massive portraits of Duke of Wellington and all the artefacts and around. Where they were walking on that video, actually, you know, takes you right up to the statue of Queen Anne. So it's great that he's really enthusiastic about this place, and I'm trying to sort of build on that with him. So we have many meetings where we sit and talk about the product. And so, really, to formally announce that we have here the, the Earl of Bath's collection or selection of product, things that I've discussed with him, that we've been around markets in Sirencester, farm shops, uh, in, the, in our businesses, trying to sort of pick up on where we could actually find things that might be of interest to you guys. Hopefully it'll sell, hopefully people will come into this place and like what we, we've actually we've, we've brought here. Some of them have Lord Bathurst marmalade, uh, a range of other products there, food things, but we started with non-food, we thought let's get that in, see if we can actually do it. Uh, I get through the, the transport and everything else. So it's, it's here and it's great and it's very much for the support of Dan and his team that we, we've got it in. So, Angus, do you want to say anything about your trip, plan trip at all, just quickly? Yes in terms of the chamber and Come the trade mission and everything that we're up to? At least the mayor and I have got a tie on, so that's great. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Um, look, thanks, Simon. Um, it, the business chamber is really excited about, about what's happening. Um, I think in the video they were talking about Brexit. Um, and these guys won't be able to go to Europe for a holiday, so they can come to Australia. So there's some great opportunities there. Um, but we're looking, um, we're we're looking um, not only at the friendship um, side of things um, and some things here, but also um, uh, taking the trade and the, the business between the two cities to the next level. Um, and in the process of planning now, um, a business delegation uh, for next year to. Um, to really make some connections on the ground, work with the uh, tourism operators um, in both places and really um, make the most of this great opportunity. Um, it's a new market, uh, businesses are, are being affected uh, by drought, so that's a challenge for us to, to look for a new market. And of course the UK, um, um, if they sort themselves out with an election or Brexit or whatever's happening, um, one way or another we're looking for, for some new opportunities as well. Um, so we're really excited to to be part of this um, and um, I think we're really lucky in town to have a council that um, has sort of taken on this project, um, run with it um, and um, is trying to make the most of it um, and whether that extends to sport, business um, or um, the fantastic honey from the estate, um, we're really excited about it and looking forward to um, taking it to the next level. Thanks Angus. Brilliant. Yeah, great for your support as well. Very much appreciate it. So last to finish off, I've got Wendy Murphy here who's actually looking at a trip uh, with um, Denison College and a group of school children from 2021, something like that. So we've got other things going on as well, which is, which is brilliant. So I'll just finish off and I want to read this bit because um, my brain's a bit uh, from, from my various uh, escapades here, but um, just to sort of finish off. So my sincere thanks to the doctors and nurses of Bath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They kept me alive during this trip, which I, my, Mrs. King definitely appreciates. Um, I can now provide you know, uh, very specialist advice to future visitors in terms of how to get into the emergency department and, uh, and hopefully how to get out. But also maybe how not to catch influenza A on the way over. Uh, I've now also got to work out whether I've got the Australian version or the actual British version, so whether I get a vaccine. But it could be, yeah, I might not be immune and I could have maybe the Singaporean version. So who knows? <laughs> or had. My, Great thanks to Graham Panger. Graham, it's been great. You've looked after me the first time I was here, but also to, to Angus for coming to you know, take the mick out of me in hospital, and, and also Jen, Stephen as well. You know, it's just great to know you've got friends around you. My sister-in-law was going to transfer me to, to, to Newcastle Hospital. They were going to get me back to Newcastle. Just leave me in Australia. Leave me here. I've got friends around me, and that's what this is all about. You feel like you're coming into a community where people support you. So, again, many thanks to Dan and his team for getting this together. It's brilliant. I'm sure we tweeting and showing photographs for everybody, but also Claire, Councillor Claire Wardell, she's a town councillor, district council in the UK. She's very much been driving this with, with Dan to get this stuff here. And she, she's been doing all the hard work. I've just been wandering around finding things and talking to Lord B. So finally, thanks to all my friends in Bathurst. You always make me feel so welcomed. And to me, this place certainly now feels like a second home. So, uh, so thank you. And I hope to see you all in Scientist very soon.
thank you very much.